Hi and welcome to my Facebook Live on Wednesday afternoon. I have a horrible feeling that my phone isn't going to play ball and let me do it the right way up. So we will see in a second anyway. Lovely to have some people joining me. Bear with me while I just flip it round. Round and get you up and let's see. Oh, please. I'm going to try and kid my phone. I'm going to be on my side, aren't I? Oh, I knew this was going to happen. Okay, we'll have to do it this way. Oh, Okay, just means that I'm going to have a really narrow one for when I put it onto Facebook, but never mind. Hello, Karen. Um, could you just send me some hearts as well? Just so that I know that the sound is okay, because I haven't got my mic in, so I'm hoping that it's okay just as I am. Hi Maxine, hi Joanne, hi Elaine, hello Elizabeth, excellent, thank you, that's great. So we are loud and clear, <laughs> which is lovely, brilliant, thank you. Um, so I'm going to show you really lovely technique using the um, tonic shimmer powders tonight with the beautiful wow embossing powders and I'm combining them with a lovely stamp set that I got from Crafts You Love with some, it's a creative expression, lovely layered um, watercolour flowers and also some beautiful sentiments and a gorgeous alphabet die set. So sorry, <laughs> but yeah, lots of things there. Hi Sue, lovely that you can join us. Um, right, so I'm going to put the camera back down so we can have a look at the cards and then I'll talk you through all the products and everything that we need. So bear with me. So I need to switch the camera around. Let's get you back round here. Oh, so that's going to be up the wrong way now, isn't it? So I need to do it uh, that way. It's going to all light after I set all this up. Stupid camera. Right, let me see. Sorry about this. No, it's not going to be able to get everything in. Oh, such a pain. One day I will be professional at this. Okay, so it's going to be really difficult demo it now. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so... This is one of the cards. This is the one with the beautiful alphabet dies. And I've just used part of one of the layered flowers for this one. So it's just like a detailed piece, which I thought was really lovely, just as it is. And this is embossed with the platinum um, embossing powder. Let me just move. I'm just going to pop it down a second. I'm going to try and move my light a little bit so we get some, because that embossing powder is amazing. And it's actually the platinum one, which is just beautiful so look at all the shimmer and everything on there so i actually use my embossing ink pad just to go around the edge um, but i did my background with the tonic shimmer powders first of all but so i'm not going to make this card but i wanted to show you this one because i really did love this hi sam um yes yeah, so i really did love this one how it turned out but this isn't the card i'm going to demo tonight i'm actually going to demo this one so this is the one with the white embossing on it. Again, you've got that lovely shimmery background. The camera finds it quite hard to pick up, but it's got a lot of pearl and shimmer on it when you see it in real life. So we've got that lovely daisy with the stem, gorgeous sentiments. I love the font for this one. And again, I've layered this up onto black because how stunning does that? It really does make everything really pop out. So really beautiful. Hi, Esther. So. They're the cards. I'm going to show you now that my mat, my place that I've placed it all down on isn't obviously going to show now because my phone's played up. So never mind. Um, so I'll talk you through the bits. So this is the stamp set and this is the thoughtful sentiments. This is from Creative Expressions. This is available from Crafts You Love as well as the flower set and the dies and they are ordering the shimmer powders, but they're actually out of stock at the moment at Tonic. So um, Crafty Love will have the, the shimmer powders in by the end of the month. Um, and then I'm obviously using some of the Wow bits as well. So that's obviously from Wow. Um, so these are the stamps. They've got lovely sentiments. So I love this. Sending you sunshine. How lovely is that? You've got hugs and kisses. You are my happy place. Love you lots. Enjoy the little things. Thank you ever so much. I love this one. One year older, none the wiser. <laughs> I thought that was great. Um, then we've also got wishing you love, happy birthday, just because, 
smile you got this and best of friends now one thing i wanted to show you is that and i do this quite often i've actually cut my happy birthday stamp up but don't be afraid to do this so i cut the birthday and the happy as separate pieces so if i just want the birthday and i want to do it so i don't have to do it as it appears on the stamp sheet so i don't have to have it set out like this if I want it in one long line, I can do that. So I've cut my stamps in half. So don't be afraid to do that. So you can, it's quite easy to do, as long as you don't obviously cut into the actual raised part of the stamp. It's quite, there was a nice lot of room around these ones, so it was quite easy to do. I just did it with scissors. So we've got, there the sentiment ones. And then these are the beautiful um, layered watercolor blooms. So you've got these lovely flowers and they're a bit like um, layering dies, that, uh, layering dies, layering stamps. So you've got you've got one A, which is obviously your background one. Then you've got one B, one C and one D. So they all layer up with the different centres. This is that one that I showed you. That's that one there is the flower that I use for this card. So that was just the, the C layer that I used as a stamp. So don't think you can't use them on their own. And then you've got this beautiful daisy. I've used this one on its own and I've used this one a lot on its own as well, which is what I've used for this card. So I've only actually used the first layer. No, the C layer, sorry, the third layer for this one. But you get the stem, you get lots of leaves as well. It's a really lovely set and you get these lovely sentiments so you get hoping your day is amazing perfect happy fabulous unforgettable so they're the stamps again available from crafts you love and then i've got a card blank um, a piece of black card and a piece of watercolor card because i'm going to use the shimmer powders and these are tonics shimmer powders i love these these are just beautiful um, so i am using cherry bomb and solar flare and catherine wheel so there are they're like a pigment powder that you sprinkle very small amounts on and then when you add the water to them that's when all the magic happens but you can also i've put it down on my glass mat and i've added water to it and i've painted with it so there is so much that you can do so i actually added detail once I'd created my watery background, I actually went back in and added the detail to the flowers with a paintbrush and some of the um, shimmer powders, just so it was a bit more precise in my colouring. So I've got the shimmer powders as well. And then I'll be using the clear ultra slow drying well embossing ink pad, which I love. And also the opaque white, which is probably my favourite, as well as the metallic platinum which is another favourite and of course I'll have my trusty um, anti-static bag and I'm working on the wow mat because I need something to work on when I'm using my shimmer powders so I'm going to make my background first of all and then I've done a little bit of a, a blue peter I've got a, one I prepared earlier isn't that gorgeous but I'm going to show you how I did it but I needed it to be dry um, so that I could do my embossing on it. Hi Dawn! Uh, yeah, so I've wanted it to be completely dry, so that's why I've done this one. I'm going to use this one for tonight, but I'm going to show you how I got to it. <coughs> so, there are two ways. Um, and it, did, it it's just a case of playing, really. But you can either spritz your card, this is watercolour card, so it's going to take, it'll take the water beautifully. There's, it's, a bit of, it's from tonic, so there's a texture on one side and it's smooth on the other side. So I will work on the texture side tonight. You can either spritz your paper with water first and then sprinkle your bits of shimmer powders onto it. Um, or you can take go dry and just sprinkle bits of shimmer powder onto this and then spritz it with water. In fact, I will grab another piece of watercolour card. And that way, I can show you both ways. So, first of all, I'm going to spritz my paper first. And we'll do this this way. So you can be quite... Now, you can see I've got some stray bits of powder. So I'm being quite heavy with the water. And then I've got some cherry bomb here. Now, you need to take the lid off. And very, very, very carefully tap the bottle and little tiny amounts 
of the colour will come out. You don't want anything too heavy on there, okay? So now we'll go in and we'll add some of the solar flare. Again, just gently tap in the bottle. Sometimes I give this a bit of a shake first before I open them up and actually start tapping away. But as it hits the water, the magic starts to happen. And then we'll take some of the Catherine wheel. And again, just very, very gently with your finger, just tapping away so you get little tight. Can you imagine how long these are going to last? But look, it looks like fireworks. Isn't that fantastic? Now, if you want the colour to mix more, you can add some more water. You can heat dry this or you can set it aside to dry. Um, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a blast. So bear with me with the noise. I'm using the Wow heat tool, which I have to say I'm really impressed with. It is very, very hot, very quickly. You can move the colours around with this a little bit as well. So if you want to take some of that excess water off, that's absolutely fine. Another thing that I do is I actually put another piece of watercolour card on the top and pick up any excess water or colour that I've got left. And so I get a second uh, print from it. It's usually much paler, but that can be nice as well. So then we would, I'm just going to lift off these colours down the edge, all that excess water. Um, be careful with these on your fingers because they do stain. Okay, so just be a little bit careful. If you don't want to have stained fingers, I would recommend some gloves maybe. Um, if you want to add more colours, so if I say mm, not enough cherry bomb there, you can either add some more water before you do it, or you can go back in with a bit more and just keep spritzing away. The more colour you put on, uh, sorry, the more water you put on, the more colour you're going to get out of it. And it will bleed and oh, it's just fabulous. Every single one is going to be, oh, it's going to be different. That's way too much powder, all right? So what's going to happen here is if I spritz it, that's better. But you will, when this dries, you'll be left with like gravelly bits on it. Now you want to just wipe those off once it's dried. Let it dry and then you'll be able to wipe them off. But it is just fabulous how you, it, I love it. I really do anything like this. And it's it's a bit like the inky backgrounds, but yeah, fab. So we can heat that again. Like I say, if you wanted to, in fact, bear with. So I am going to grab, this is just a card blank now. So this is a watercolor and I've been very naughty. I'm just ripping it. So I've just got a, a card blank. And I'm going to sit it on the top and just see what happens to the card. So I'm taking a second image from the first one. Oh, look at that. Oh, and that's just on cardstock. Isn't that beautiful? So we will obviously mop up the excess that we've got down here and then give that a bit of a blitz too. And you actually see, when you're in real life, you see it changing. You can see the colour actually drying. So you can move the ink around a little bit as well if you want to. If you want to go back in and put more colour in a certain area, you can do that too. It's absolutely fab. So you, need to, you will need to dry this from the front and the back. If you want it to be flat, although it's going to quite well actually, but if I turn this over and I can heat this from the back and it will get some of the moisture out of the back of the card and then flip it back over and as you heat it again it, it tends to go flat again. So I'm just going to lift up some of the excess because I don't, you know, I'm not going to be using this tonight but I wanted to show you. So that was doing it onto a wet piece of card which I do think is absolutely beautiful. Let me see if I can get my little light. Just, oh, sorry. Get my light to bring out that shimmer a little bit. Oh, it is just beautiful. I wish you, I wish the camera would pick it up. So that is one of them. And then this is what I picked up as my second image. You can see the shimmer on there. Look at that. And that's just onto cardstock, which I think is amazing. So let's put that to one side. 
and then I'm just going to wipe my surface, get rid of all that. And then I'm going to take a dry piece this time and we'll just start by sprinkling some of the powder over the top. If I'm not answering your questions and you're asking me something, it's really hard to read them and to talk sensibly and do a demo. So I will go back through and and have a look at the, the comments. I will try and answer them tonight. I have got to um, have dinner and get to the airport because my brother's on his way from Australia, which is lovely. My mum's really chuffed, obviously. Can't wait to see him, so that'd be really lovely. So you do get a different effect when you do it onto dry. So again, just add in the water till you like how it looks and just keep adding more little drops just very gentle taps because you don't want too much to come out at once. You can keep going back in and adding to it as well. I would recommend that you keep drying it too. Because when I was drying this, how I did my one, if you took up mine, when you see all those little circles and droplets, that was because I was drying the actual ink onto the paper and you get like those the edge around the colour. So let me just dry a little bit up here and then you'll be able to see that happening. So just by heating and keep moving that ink around in that area you get like edges to the, the areas which I think just looks fabulous. So like I said you can go back in, you can add more colour if you want to, if you want to make it stronger and darker, <coughs> it's really easy to do that. You just really, it's until you like how it looks. But if you do dry in between each layer, it does help to get those real defined little areas of colour. <coughs> right, let me turn this off. But can you see now, like up here, you're getting real rings around the edge of that. Isn't that lovely? Just, I, I, I'm just blown away by it. I think it's such fun. I really do. And the shimmer in the, them is beautiful. That is the one I'm going to use. Right, so I'm going to clear my, my mat, clean my mat up so I can get on, put some more water down. And what I ended up doing yesterday was I just kept taking more and more prints. Oh, I love that one. I can't get rid of that. So just to mop up any excess, just to do that with um, extra pieces of card. And now that we've seen it works on just cardstock as well, it doesn't have to be watercolour card, but obviously the more water you put on, the easier it is if it's watercolour. Okay, so now we've got our piece of card. So I am going to pop this in my stamping press. Now these are available from Crafts You Love as well. And I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna actually just place it in the press, let me bring it up so you can see it a little bit. Move my things out of the way. Okay, so going to wipe across my piece with my anti-static bag to start with. And then I'm going to take the flower, the daisy, from the set. And I am going to place the one in the middle, first of all. I do think you want to have odd numbers. I think I actually, actually did four. What was I thinking? I think it needs odd numbers. So you either need to have five. Okay, we'll do five this time. Okay, so I can pick pick my stamp up. I'm going to ink it up with my embossing ink pad from Wow. Tap that. And I would ink this and stamp it out a couple of times for each one because it's watercolour card. And you'll find it... it sticks to it you'll get a much nicer impression if you do that twice because you've got that um watercolor card it's got, you've got that uneven surface is what i'm trying to say okay now i didn't pick up a piece of paper I need a piece of paper to put my sprinkle my embossing powder on so i'm going to do this one with platinum because we had a white one last time let's have a platinum one and then you'll see the difference as well, which is always lovely. Okay, so we've got our flower. Now you can heat it if you want, or we can place this back down, because I can see where that is. I can carefully place my stamp and pick it up. 
and then I'll ink it again. Now, I could use my trick with the acetate, but I would need to be careful not to get it anywhere near that flower unless I heat emboss the flower and did them one at a time. But rather than do that, I'm going to try and emboss them all in one go. But I would put the powder on in between. So instead of heating it, I'm going to just put some powder over the last flower. So now I can see where that goes, but I still haven't heated anything. Again, place this back in my press. Hold my paper down. We'll have a, a last one, but it'll be on and on and off, and which will look rather nice, actually. It's really good to go on and off your card. It gives you a really nice professional finish. So I'll pop that down. Again, I would stamp it twice. And then we can put our powder on and we're only we're only inking it and stamping it twice because we're using the watercolor card and because it's got an uneven surface you're going to get a much better result with your stamping if you do do it twice okay so let's move this one up there and pick our stamp up ink it again with our ink pad turn it over Okay, sprinkle our powder on and you'll notice because we've had that powder on the paper I don't need to keep tipping it out of the bottle it can just be used each time from the piece of paper okay so line it up again take my flower and this time we'll go slightly off the edge of the card now the reason that is really good to put that piece of acetate in is because obviously this has got embossing ink pad uh, embossing ink on it and each time you put it down on your piece of card you run the risk of transferring some of the ink so that the powder will stick to that rather than your actual stamped image so you do need to be a little bit careful if you're going to do it this way and not heat each flower as you go i mean you can heat each flower as you go it's not a problem I was just trying to speed things up a little bit. Okay, so put my heat tool on, get it good and hot. And I'm afraid I'm going to do it from on top because I can't possibly get it underneath now because of how my filming is going. So I will bring my heat tool in and hopefully you'll start to see the magic happen. There we go. So you can see the embossing powder is going raised and shiny. If you do do it from underneath, you will get a much smoother finish, which I have to say, it does make a big difference. Maybe not so much to the watercolour, because I've got a watercolour card, but when you're using a regular card, it will make a big difference. But look, look at that platinum embossing powder. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to put my card back in and I need to stamp the stem. So I'm going to hold the flowers down at the top, but also at, we'll have two at the top and two at the bottom because of the, um, it's curled obviously because it's watercolor cardstock. So let me take my flower stamp off and place that back where it belongs. Got my stem. So I'm just going to place that down where I want that to go. Again, lift that up. And again, I would stamp everything twice again just because of it being that watercolour card but because we've got such a beautiful result with the embossing powder I wonder if I can do it no I think I will put the powder on I was going to say I wonder if I can do it ink them all and then put the powder on but I don't think I'm that brave <laughs> it might dry too quick it's very warm in here tonight I've had to shut the door while I do the filming um, because the the sun was so bright in my window the filming looks shocking. So let's pick that up. I'm not moaning because I love, I love the sun. Well, you won't believe what I've just done. I just caught the edge of the paper with all the embossing powder on and it's now all over my stamp set. Oh, good. <laughs> ah. Okay, so now I'm going to have to try. Oh, well, I won't worry about picking that up. So let's. That's all I've got left now. <laughs> oh, let's hope I can rescue that platinum because it is my favourite. 
Okay, so let's pop this back in. Line those up, hold that down. Again, be very careful when you put this down. You really want to go down first time with it and not move it too much because that's when the ink will stick to your watercolour card. Ink that, let's do that twice. Oh, thank you, Eileen and Sheila. It is beautiful, isn't it? That embossing powder is just gorgeous. So if you do want to order from Wow, actually, and anything that you order from Crafts You Love now, there, there is a section on Crafts You Love for notes when you get to the checkout section. If you'd like to put that you heard about it, about the products that you're buying from me, that would be wonderful. And if you go to WOW again at the checkout, it's how did you hear about this? And they've added Judy Hickey. So, yeah, that would be, I would really appreciate if anybody does want to go off and treat themselves to any of the goodies, that you do say you heard it from me. Okay, so that's that one. Let's sprinkle some powder on there. Almost there. And then we can heat them up and you can see the magic happen and all that beautiful soft gold. I think as well, like the platinum is such a lovely colour with these colours of the shimmer powders as well, because it's quite a warm colour, but it's not bright. It's not a bright, harsh gold. It's a really lovely, soft, goldy. So I, I just think it's absolutely fabulous. I haven't found anything that it doesn't look fabulous on yet. I have to say... Okay, so one more stamp and we're done for that one. Okay, let's add a little bit of powder to that one. Make sure we tap all the excess off. So now we've got all of the, the leaves done and the stems. So again, pick my tool up, get it good and hot. Yes, so it's not funny. I'll show you what I did in a minute, Gail. Okay, so I'm heating from above. I would normally do this from underneath, but like I say, I can't, my camera is way too close to be able to get underneath. So you do need to be careful that you don't overheat the first lot of embossing powder. So try and keep away from the flowers as much as you can. But this has got a lovely directional little nozzle on it, so you can be quite precise about where you're actually heating. I actually thought it was... Um, a fantastic price I think it's about 15 pound that heat tool but look at that isn't that gorgeous don't you think so I need to know do you think that looks beautiful and those colors work so well the the um, platinum works so well with those lovely summery tones okay so let me just pop what's left of my embossing powder back all right I'm going to show you this is what I've done so now my embossing powder is amongst my stamps. So I hope, with a bit of luck, it's all in the packaging now as well. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. What are us crafters like, eh? Okay, so. Lid on. So that's all right. So now I can take my stem off. I have my thank you sentiment already and I didn't do anything to this one did I oh I did yes right so this one this one came as thank you so much but can you see I've cut round it and I've I just using the thank you so that's another thing to, like don't be afraid to cut in that this one was easy to cut into so don't be afraid to cut into your um, stamps if you if they're not quite how you want to use them. So I had stamped a thank you, but I did it in white. So we'll do another one. Let's just line this up. So pop a couple of magnets down to hold it in place. Line my stamp up on my stamping press. Again, firm it down. Wipe it with my anti-static bag so that it doesn't stick where I don't want it to stick. And then a couple of stamps, especially with a sentiment, because this is much more detailed than my flowers. My flowers, 
because of the nature of the, the design as well it doesn't matter if they're hit and miss but it matters if it's hit and miss with my sentiment so you definitely want to do two inkings with this so now I'll pop that down make sure I've got the right powder cover it with what's left of my platinum give that a tap but look at that how beautiful it's such a lovely font and uh, the ink is so good and the embossing powder too so we'll heat that let's move my press out of the way I don't need that anymore and we'll heat my heat tool up get that going and then we will start to see this beautiful powder melt again and then turn it around because it does get really hot so do be careful especially if you're holding it like this I should really have got my uh, chopping board out but so I've got that beautiful sentiment now in the right colour to go on my card so I have a piece of black card which I'm going to glue down onto my card blank which I've cut slightly smaller true Julie style with a little border around the edge which I always love and now I'm going to put some glue when I can unblock the nozzle. Can't even blame the studio light. I blame my own lights now, can't I? Okay, so put some glue on the back of there. And this I've cut down, like I said, so you've got that nice little border all the way around the edge. And then we've got our piece. That I've done with my flowers so I'm not going to put ribbon around if I wanted to tie ribbon around it now is the time to do it before I glue this down but I'm not going to do that to this one because I ended up covering up a lot of it so I'm going to leave this one so you see more of the beautiful embossing okay so just line that up now what I was saying to you before the other day is I've got into the habit of actually turning the card over or putting some clean piece of paper over the top especially when I've done something like this with inky bits because it's the paper the it's cards the watercolor cardstock is quite thick as well but because it's had lots of water on it it tends to bow a little bit and so it's quite you want to really firm it to get it really nicely done on your card so that's laying be oh no it's not okay so I'm going to put something heavy on the top afterwards okay so we've got our flowers all beautifully embossed and I've got my sentiment strip here I'm going to cut it down just a little tiny bit because I want as much of that those embossed flowers showing as possible and because I want to edge this with black as well because putting this onto black cardstock will really make it pop up the card so just trimmed that down if you're going to cut a banner then you have to do that now and I do want to cut this into a banner end so I'm going to go straight up the middle to start with and then cut from the edge into the centre and that way you will get your banner will be much it's much easier to do and get it lined up so now I'm going to place this down stick my banner onto my black cardstock again leaving a nice little but only a little edge because I want as much of my flowers to show as possible. Get rid of any excess glue and then I will trim this down. So just a nice little border of black showing around the edge and then I can snip in here to, re to reflect that little border as well so we've got a nice border now I always tend to just lift the ends up just so it's got a little bit of movement and then I just need you could either stick this down flat it depends whether you're going to post it or not but I'm just going to add some foam pads because I like that bit of dimension I have to say so just with some foam pads on the back one in the middle there to support it because it's cardstock and it's watercolour card you don't need too much um, too many foam pads behind I'm a bit tight with foam pads I have to say okay 
So now we can place this down at the bottom. You can either go right to the edge of the card or you can just line it up with the black on the card. I think I'm going to do that this time. And so we've got our curl daddy. So we have a very similar card to the one that I showed you earlier with the beautiful platinum embossing using those gorgeous shimmer powders from Tonic, which are available from Crop Well, they'll be back in stock at the end of the month and crafts you love. You've got that lovely stamp set with the beautiful layered uh, watercolour flowers, again from Crafts You Love, with the sentiments as well. And then the, that gorgeous Wow embossing ink, ink pad and the, my favourite, either the white or the platinum um, embossing powders. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll just bring the other cards back in so you can finish off having a look at all three. So just variations really on a very similar theme but I, I love the difference as well with the white oh and I was going to show you the the um, dies uh, this I have to say I thought this was brilliant I've been wanting a die set like this forever and a company in America do one but it's it was recently on sale but it was going to cost me as much to have it posted as the actual die set itself and I just like, and then I, you get stung for customs as well. So I actually bought this one from Crafts You Love, $17.99, which I think is amazing value. In fact, that was, that's actually less than the shipping was going to be from America. The shipping was going to be £18, and so it's a penny less. But it is a beautiful die set. It cuts beautifully. It pops out beautifully and this one I use my platinum embossing powder on the top of it so I just die cut it in white cardstock and then I covered it with the ink pad and put it with the embossing powder and I also did around the edge just literally dipped the card in the edge of my embossing ink pad and then the powder stuck to that and this bit here I did with my little mini blending tool that I got from Crafts 2, which I love as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I think I've come. Oh, the only other thing I wanted to say was that I've got some workshops booked at Crafts You Love on Wednesday, the 11th of July in the evening, a seven till nine class. So we're just going to have uh, make a couple of cards, have a coffee, have a chat. I'm going to bring a cake. So coffee and cake and some crafting. What more could you want? And then also on the 14th of July I've got um, an all day class from 10.30 till 3 uh, we're going to be making something different in the morning to the afternoon I wish you lived closer to Maxine it would be lovely for you to be there uh, but we're going to make some something in the morning and then something different in the afternoon and you can book those online as well so if you just go to craftsyoulove.co.uk and it's under what's on so let me flip you round and I really do appreciate you joining me. I'm sorry it was much earlier than usual. Um, but like I say, I've got to go and pick my brother up in a minute. Yay! Yep, so thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you again soon. Okay, have a lovely evening and thanks for joining me. Bye.